Alright guys, let's see what I can do here. I can do this. Yes. Alright, Penguin Soldier beats Penguin Soldier. Oh, come on. I can do so much damage. Yep, that's Blast Jugular, you're no help. Okay, we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Yes. Get me some more experience for the Flame Manipulator. Almost get him a level up. How does this attack diagonally? Flame Manipulator is fine there, man. All right. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, he moves in a stepping stone pattern, but then attacks diagonally. So. I don't care. He's just going to go there. That way it's more pressure. This is going to be a battle to the end, it seems. Oh, you just... Oh, no. Can't move there. Like, uh, well, it doesn't even matter. I don't think. Throw him there. Oh, man. Yeah, Blast Juggler, attack it. You're going to attack this just to get one experience point. And you're going to end this battle. Alright, beautiful. Alright, let's see how uh, Flame Manipulator is going to be. All right, that was not bad. That was not bad at all. How can I lose? Because only you could have defeated me, Yugi boy. Yugi boy. <sighs> this was an incredible duel. I didn't know how to react to many of your attacks. He did. There wasn't many. There are many more powerful enemies waiting to take down the mighty Yugi. I hope you're prepared. All right. Boom, look at that. Yep. And he's going to get a level up from the end of the battle, too. Which means that I could evolve him in the next battle. Hopeful evolution, maybe? Look at that. Ridiculous. 37... And a level up for my symbol, too. And Penguin Soldier. Nice. Alright. Effect. Let's build up some PP. And base AP. Yeah, there we go. That's beautiful. 60% Sea of Flame. Or Sea Flame. And Water Charm. Holy crap. Now I want this, and I don't think I have this, so I'm going to take that. That's beautiful. All right. All 
I don't want to do any editing of my deck because there's really not much for me to edit out. So, we have Merrick that we can face now. Merrick's going to be a tough one, though. Guru's Guardian. Or Guru's Garden. Now I'm hoping that I... I actually want to attack second on this one now. That I think about it. Because the water and the wood are on where Merrick usually starts. And I want those. Just in case they help with level ups and things like that. Because it's annoying. And look at this. Boom. Yep. See all the woods are over on Merrick's side. Which is annoying. Okay, yeah, we've we've heard all this before from the last battle, so I can skip that. Okay. Oh, please let me attack second. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wait. Wood's over here. Water's over there. Okay. Let's throw my... Oh, man. Yeah, let's do wood, I guess. Because I do have... The Ancient Tree of Enlightenment doesn't need any levels. But Petite Moth, I... Uh, okay, so... I want Ancient Tree of Enlightenment. I want Petite Moth. I want Flame Manipulator. Okay, now I'll actually pay attention to what he's supposed to have. Where are you, Merrick? You have two waters, which means I want some winds. Not like I have many. Yeah, I have, like, no winds. Um... Okay, what else do you have? Earth types, which means I want some light types. Or no, you have dark types, which means I want light types. You have a thunder, which means I want a wood. Uh, what do I fuse this with? Because I know there's something. Destroyer golem, so I don't have that. So let us grab I need two more monsters, huh? Psych Kappa? And I guess uh Mon Larvis. Why not? Manual place. So, first off, Petite Moth is going to go here. Same with Ancient Tree of Enlightenment. Flame Manipulator will go over here. Everything else I could really care less about. Throw him there. Throw him there. Throw him there. And now Time Wizard. What level does Time Wizard need to get to? Is it, okay, it's level 5, so he's not that far from a level up. Okay, and I am fine with attacking second completely. So we're going to get some, uh, yeah, like, if I, I chose wood because I had two, mon two monsters that should be able to evolve from being on the wood. If I really wanted a penguin soldier to level up, I would have chosen the other side, but I'd rather take two evolutions than one. It's just common sense. Now those stupid crab things are going to be a problem. 
But we got Needle Ball and Crab Thing. Alright. Okay, let's summon what I want. I want these. Those are probably the most important. Flame Manipulator. And what can I bring out? Time Wizard, Psychic Kappa. Psychic, or Time Wizard it is. Alright. So, plus 521, which is not bad. Alright. Let's see what I can do. He summons Ryukushin, which is something I want. I want Ryukushin and Zoa. That's what I want from this battle. Alright. Evolve to fire Ryu. My attack goes down, though. But I have better attack range. Alright. I think we're just going to end up getting... I think I'm going to do the three evolutions and then I'm going to end it. Okay, is there any way to skip this? Yeah. Let's see how he looks now. Oh, that's look, that just looks cool. Alright. Evolve Petite Moth. Alright. Alright, can I skip the... that thing? Yeah. And boom. Now I get to check to see if my Lava Moth is better than the one that I had before. Really, I can't level it up here, huh? Let me move this guy here. Can I check this in any way? No, I don't want to end my turn. No, I don't want that. Damn it, whatever. Okay. Let's um, summon this. Summon this. Guess I can move this if I wanted to. Yeah, because it tells me that Ancient Tree of Enlightenment does not need any levels. It doesn't say at level 4, evolve it with this. So. Good field bonus of 50. So I probably don't have a strong enough field bonus, which is why. But um, that's going to be it. We're going to continue this in the next video. Bye, guys.